So guys, welcome to this YouTube video. Now something that kept coming up in the comment section, in my DMs, stuff like that was, Iman, why don't you show us more of your day? Why don't you start vlogging a bit more? And I've always been a bit apprehensive because I say this and I don't think people believe me, my day-to-day -day is not very interesting at all. I find it interesting. I do enjoy pretty much everything I do. I kind of enjoy the menial side of things, but it's not something that's flashy. And I always kind of worried about that. I always felt as though I had to be traveling or I had to be doing some cool shit or even, even in business, I had to be like signing a deal that day otherwise it wasn't a cool video. And funnily enough, later today at four, I have a client meeting, so that'll actually be a yay or nay, and we'll find out whether I do sign a deal today. But, as you saw, it is 6.30 right now. I wake up 6.30 every day, and I have my tennis lesson in an hour and a half, so I'm gonna read, meditate, then head on over. It's only like a 15 minute walk, but weather doesn't look too great right now. But whatever, we'll make it happen. Also, I just looked back over this, and it seems like I've set the wrong picture profile for a long time now, so I look really white. I'm gonna run with it for this video, but from next video, well, the, the color grading will be fixed, so don't worry. Okay, so I always start off my day with coffee now. Oops, shit. So, right now I'm enjoying this guatemalan roast. Uh, it's one of these like Nespresso capsules, except this one's from Starbucks. But I carry a bunch of different roasts, a bunch of different companies, but uh, yeah, as I said, right now this is my favorite. So guys, I actually don't eat until one of... So as I was saying, I don't actually eat until one o'clock. I do something that's known as intermittent fasting. It's like, it's pretty popular now, so probably all of you will know what it is now. Now with anything with my videos, I'm just gonna spew out like these weird fucking terms. And if you don't understand something or you actually find something interesting and you want me to elaborate, just leave it down in the comments. But yeah, intermittent fasting, basically don't eat until one o'clock and then I don't eat after nine o'clock. And basically that puts me in a fasted state. And there's a whole host of benefits that I could talk about. For me, it's really not about like my body, like a lot of people do it to stay lean. For me, it's about the mental. Because basically it triggers your sympathetic nervous system and it it just has a whole host of like performance benefits and it means I can work very well in the morning. So let's get to it. So a bunch of you guys have seen this before. The knowledge is power box. Um, I got this yesterday, Obstacle is the Way, and I uh, read a bit of it, enjoyed it, but um, I'm still on my Russell Brunson Expert Secrets grind. Okay, so basically that was my tennis coach, and because it was raining all night, and it's been raining right now, the courts are going to be closed, so where I play is in, if you're familiar with London, Hyde Park, it's these really cool, like, open, open tennis courts, and, uh, yeah, they're beautiful, stunning, like beautiful gardens around them. But unfortunately, when it rains, it rains. But whatever, change of plans. I think I'll go hit a quick workout then. But as I said, first we'll read, meditate, get to it. Okay guys, so I'm on my way to the gym now. Now one thing I want to address is straight up when I talk about like waking up in the morning, meditating, reading, I feel like such a fucking pompous prick. But really, I'm not trying to be like, when I have that amount of energy and positivity, when I'm talking about waking up early and doing all this stuff, that's just me trying to trick my mind. Like, in my head, I still don't understand why you guys want all these, like, all this advice and videos from me because I'm one of the most lazy, unmotivated, negative people you will ever meet. I'm just very good at, like, tricking my mind to behave otherwise. So as I said, when I wake up and I'm talking like that and I look like that, it's really just me trying to like trick my mind. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay in bed, eat shit food. I'm not gonna get any work done because I think that's really all of our baselines. So just trick your mind is basically what I'm saying. Okay, gym all done, showered up. Time to get to work. So guys, I've had a very productive morning. I thought I would fill you in on what I was actually doing. Now, as for the editing, like that, that's very self-explanatory. My second work block, I was working on my new lead generation magnet for IEG Media. Now, a lot of you guys saw the three ways to make 100,000 from your computer in 2017. 
well, that was very long, uh, ebook that I put out there. And that is a funnel for my own personal brand because I wanna get into coaching, I wanna come out with some courses and you know, now that I know I can do it myself, now that I've built a successful business and I've found other ways to make really good income online, I wanna share that with you guys. So anyways, that, that 100K ebook was basically the lead generation magnet. So it's sort of like a value proposition. So it's a reason for you to wanna give forward your email for my coaching services and et cetera, et cetera. Now, right now I'm working on a funnel for IAG Media. Now look, IAG Media has done very, very well in terms of referrals. I have what's known as a partner program, which is very exclusive. I only give it to people I trust and my clients that I work with. So I really do incentivize referrals and I, I just have really good working with relationships with all of my clients and they're always happy to open up their network to me. But now it's time to systemize and automize. So basically this, this will be a lot more niche. So I won't get as many people signing up and converting. But basically this, number one, it'll put me in a position of authority. So the ebook I'm writing is how your company is wasting 50% of its marketing budget. And it talks about one nuanced little topic concept. And as I said, it puts me and IG Media in a position of authority. It gets people signed up to my mailing list. And then once they're signed up, they're gonna get a sequence of three, four, five, automatic responder emails. So emails that I don't personally type, I, I type out now and then they just get sent out automatically. And by the fourth or fifth email, they're gonna get offered a free audit. Now an audit is pretty much where I go over your entire digital marketing from an outsider's perspective and I give you notes on it. And whenever I do an audit for someone, my conversion rate is very, very high because they can see that I bring a lot to the table, I'm very knowledgeable and most importantly, like I actually give a fuck. I put a lot of time and effort into creating the audits. So anyways, the more people who request audits, the more warm leads. So a warm lead is someone who is like open to the idea of working with you rather than just fucking calling someone you found on Yelp or yellow pages. Like I'm completely against that. So as I said, warm leads are very, very important to me and my business. And that's, that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So although it's meant for business owners, I'll still give you guys the link. I'll probably throw it up on my Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, get on that. I'll throw up on my Instagram in like a week or so. So uh, yeah, that's what I've been working on this morning. So guys, I've had a really good day of work so far. Now it's time to let my hair down a bit before my meeting in a few hours. Now, one of the companies I work with, they make electric bikes, which are more like motorbikes really. This thing is ridiculous. It goes up to 65 kilometers an hour and I've never had more fun in my life actually being on a vehicle. Let me introduce to you the Furo L1. I'm uh, hopping to my meeting and um, yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know whether uh, I got this deal or not. All right, thanks so much, Louis. Client signed. Uh, I'm actually quite happy with this one. Uh, it's a client that I see myself working with for a while. I won't say any names because uh, I realize that like as my social media grows, literally telling you guys who my clients are, even though I've said who a lot of them are, uh, is probably the most surefire way to have you guys try and steal them. But um, yeah, quite a, quite a good clan, uh, quite a big clan, quite happy with that. So guys, long, long day of hustle. Just finished up another work block, now I'm off to go have dinner with a friend, relax a bit. Then when I come back, I'm gonna watch an episode of Suits and edit up this vlog and then I'm done for my work day. Usually at this point in the day, I start to get lightheaded and I look like someone has punched me in the face. But nonetheless, at least it's time to go eat now. So guys, it's around 9.30 right now and I am winding down. I just gotta edit this vlog, which will take me roughly like two hours and then I'm gonna pass the fuck out. So as I said, a bunch of you guys actually asked to see more of what a day in the life looks like. So I'm gonna try and do at least one vlog a week, maybe two. But one thing I do wanna mention is I have quite a few new subscribers. I have a shit ton of people 
new to my mailing list. I have like 6K new Instagram followers in the past like 14 days. Now, obviously I've been running a lot of advertisements, whether that be on Facebook, Instagram, and I've been using a couple other techniques that I learned from a lot of high level consultants and personal brand experts that I've been learning off of recently. So my point is there's a lot of you that are new to the channel and number one, I wanna welcome you. And number two, I wanna thank you for actually deciding to hit subscribe. It really does mean the world to me. Now, because a lot of you are new and because I try my best to answer to every single question or comment or DM, but it's really, really hard. I actually wanna give you guys the opportunity to get to know me better. So, so below in the comments, I want you to write down what is your one big goal for 2017? There's five months of the year left. If there's one thing that you achieve to make this year just incredible, what would that be? Then I'm gonna put all the comments into a random number generator and I'm gonna give the winner a free 30 minute call with me we can discuss whatever you like. You can get to know me or you could ask me business questions. Ask me what some of my weird and wacky interests are if you haven't already seen on my YouTube. But nonetheless, 30 minutes of my time. All you have to do is comment below. What is your one goal for 2017? And that's it, guys. I'm really, really looking forward to picking a winner. I actually did the same thing on my Instagram a couple days ago and it went amazing. So as I said, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this and I'll see you guys next time.